and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be going over what is in my hospital bag for labor and delivery. I am currently I'm currently 36 weeks. So this is the bag I currently have all my stuff in. I got this from Target probably a couple years ago. I am also taking with me this backpack. It is going to be my diaper bag, but mostly stuff in here is just some stuff for baby and it'll have like my phone, wallet, insurance and everything. And I've already gone through what's all in this bag and everything about this bag in my previous video. So if you want to see that, you can go check that one out. Uh, the only thing that has come since then from Copper Pearl is this swaddle and hat. It's the Midtown print that I plan to wrap them up in afterwards. So there are those things. Also what I have is right here, I have a blanket I'm going to be bringing with me to the hospital. I got this from Home Goods. And then I'm also gonna take a pillow, but that's obviously not really packed because I use it every night. And in my bag here, let's see. First things I pull out are some flip flops from Gap, just those couple dollar ones for the shower. And then I did grab a pair of slippers from Target. Not sure if I'm gonna use these ones or, cause I'm probably gonna buy a new pair of slippers like for around the house anyways. I might just bring those guys, but Got these packed just in case I don't get them by then. I do have, I have a couple pair of fuzzy socks with the grips on them, just because I'm not gonna wear the hospital ones cause they're so big and I don't have giant feet or anything. So I'd rather have something that fits. So I just got these little guys. They also have ones with little turtles on them. So I got some socks with the grip on them. I do have a Bluetooth speaker. So just one of these guys. Just in case, I don't know if I'm gonna even want to use it or use it, but just in case I want a playlist or something going, besides like TV, I'll have that option. I'm an overpacker rather than an underpacker, so obviously I have packed probably more than I need, but then I'm also bringing a little mirror to set on the table in case I want to get ready at all, because I'm not going to want to go stand in the bathroom after I've had a baby. I'd rather just lay in bed and get ready if I'm going to. I've got a couple nursing bras, so I've got set like this that kind of fold over in the front rather than clip down. Got these from Target. They are the Auden brand. And then I also have this nursing bra from Motherhood Maternity that I got. It's actually very comfortable, just feels like a sports bra. I'd rather have a couple options. Then I do have this black nursing tank and I know these have built-in bras in them, but just in case I don't wear something like this. So just a basic black tank if I probably go home in this tank top. And then I also threw in like a comfy sweater to throw over. And then I actually also have a pair of Two pairs of Prego leggings coming, the postpartum ones. Also, I have packed a couple of these adult diapers, the, what are these called? Discreet Boutique? I, I can't remember, but it's the ones that everybody recommends to get because the mesh underwear is so uncomfortable. So I figured I'd pack a couple of these just to have the option in case I'm one of those people that really don't like the mesh underwear that the hospital gives you. So I just have four of these packed. Headphones. <laughs> my chargers are in 
my backpack here. So didn't forget those. I do have a somewhat longer charger, but just in case it's not long enough, I do have an extension cord that I'm going to be bringing even Casey can use it if I'm not, so it'll benefit somebody. <laughs> Something I figured I'd want to wear after, right afterwards, like while I'm still in the hospital, I got this nursing dress. So it'll be really easy if they need to check me or anything or push on my stomach. Really easy, I won't have to take off layers or anything. And this was from Motherhood Maternity as well. And I got this in a medium. I also grabbed, forgot I even had these in here. I've been packing this bag for a few weeks now, like slowly getting more and more in here. And I just forget about all the stuff I put in here. So I got these pajamas. These are like capri pants. And then I think, yeah, this is like a button up pajama shirt from Target. So if I don't want to wear the dress, I can wear this. <laughs> They're really, really soft. So if I don't wear, or if the Prego leggings don't come in by the time I go into labor, I do have these super comfy like jogger sweatpants that I got. I didn't realize when I got them that, I mean, this is like a very light, it's white and gray. And I'm gonna, I know I'm going to be bleeding a lot, so... Kind of risky but just gonna be wearing them to home so I also have a rope here it's all folded up right now but there you go it is from pink blush maternity and it's just a cute floral pattern with the lace on the ends of the arms and at the end of the robe because I'll probably wear this in that black um the black nursing dress or nightgown whatever it is when I'm still in the hospital. I also have from Belly Bandit, I have one of their corsets or I think that's what they're called. I'm not sure. It's made for postpartum so it's something you're, you should, you're supposed to wear. Um, it's not so much trying to slim you down as it is trying to like compress your uterus to get it back down to size, I believe. And I've heard a lot of good things about these. So I got their, I think it's the BFF, I'm not sure, the BFF wrap. I have my own towel packed because a lot of people have said that the hospital towels are crap. They're not very good. And I'm a taller person and it's always been like the towels at the hotels are super short on me or it's just been so uncomfortable. So, and ho hospital towels are kind of the same like with hotel, I feel. So I am bringing my own towel just to kind of provide that comfort after my first shower <laughs> or my first shower afterwards because I'm a big comfort person. <laughs> well, I of course have one of these. I just got it in my FabFitFun box. So I figured I would throw it in here. I don't have to go out and buy one, <laughs> but it has, it will have its first in middle name has the last his last name on it right now the the end fell off but there's an end there and then I'll just have the day he's born how much he weighed and how long he was I know he might not be born on his due date but yeah I'll just put his first and middle name in there and find the end for the last name but I thought this would be cute just to do the announcement picture once he's born like everybody does <laughs> and then lastly I have my toiletry bags. I have two of them. This one is more, I think, postpartum type of stuff I would need. I'm not bringing much because they, the hospital does provide everything I'll need. So I figured just save some space packing. First thing is all the other letters and numbers for that board. And then I have, I have a bunch of glasses. So I just have a pair packed, so just in case I forget mine, a little tiny loofah. And then some nipple balm. This is the Boobies Organic Nipple Balm. I got it from Target. 
And then I do have the Wish Garden After Use for Pregnancy. I've seen a lot of people kind of recommend it for those um, after birth contractions. So like when you're breastfeeding. So I did get these. And then I do have the Earth Mama Herbal Perennial Spray. Another thing a lot of people recommend. But I also have Dermaplast. I'll probably get some from the hospital, but I do have some in my bathroom just in case this doesn't work. But figured I don't need to bring, bring that since the hospital does provide it. And then this toiletry bag I got from Target a, year, a few years ago. I liked it because it opens up and has like the two different pockets. I mean, this is for like makeup brushes, but I don't need that. Which does remind me, I do have like a little bag of makeup, but that's in my bathroom because I use it every day. So first thing on this side that I have is like hair stuff. So I got a little dry shampoo, shampoo and conditioner, just so I can have my own. So I don't like using even just hotel stuff. I don't really like using that stuff. I want to bring my own. I do have some body wash and a little travel deodorant. And I got one of these little hair brushes and a comb for after the shower and a couple headbands on this side. All right, and on this side now, I have more like face stuff, toothbrush, toothpaste. So this isn't the normal face wash or micellar water I use, but they were travel size and I didn't want to take my full bottles with me or I could have just bought like little travel size bottles and filled them up, but that just sounded like too much work. So I just bought some travel size ones. I got the Cetaphil, 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 uh, face wash. Cause this is like the only face wash travel size I could find. Nothing else came like travel size. So whatever. And then the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And then I got this free with like something I bought from Clinique a while ago. So I figured I'd just use this uh, moisture surge for my moisturizer. So I don't have to big, bring my big one. And some Q-tips. Chapstick. I have chapstick in here. I have chapstick in that bag. And actually I think I have two in there. That's because everybody Everybody I've watched of any of these videos says to bring chapstick because your lips get very dry. And I hate the feeling of dry lips, especially when they crack and then it just gets worse. It's a nightmare. And I did bring some beauty rounds or some cotton pads to use the micellar water on. Some Lumify eye drops that just if you your eyes are really red or anything, it really brightens up the eyes. So I brought those because I'm sure my eyes will be like dead afterwards. <laughs> this I bought like the Lancinol Lanol Lancinol Lanolin cream. And it came with a little travel size. So I threw this in here a while ago, but now that I have that other one, I probably don't need it, but why not? And then a little hand lotion. Hello. Oh, here are my ponytails. So I got a couple ponytails and a toothbrush and toothpaste because I don't even want to have to worry about forgetting to pack that. So yes, I'm bringing travel size for that. Hi. Oh my goodness. You're such a character. Oh, and I also have some uh, Neutrogena makeup removers. So that is it for what is in my hospital bag for labor and delivery. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.